Hello everyone, this is Theron. Welcome to Minecraft Land Party. Feel like I'm hearing a drowned around my little island here somewhere. Uh, hi, how's everyone doing? I'm doing okay, but I'm hearing drown sounds or what sound like drown sounds. Uh, Ocean Monument over there, little tiny island here. Uh, I am a long way away from home. Yeah, I do hear a drowned over here, don't I? Where is it? Is there one trapped inside the island? Do I have a little, oh, hello. Oh, you've got a fishing rod. How good on you. Okay. Oh, <laughs> he dropped gold. That's exciting. Hi, buddy. Uh, I have a horse with no name. Not quite sure what, uh, what exactly he's doing, but uh, I've got a bunch of stuff here. Yeah, okay. We're gonna we're gonna do some stuff here, um, and conduit, and uh, so it should be kind of obvious. Is that ringing sound in just my ear, or is that everyone's? Okay, so here's the deal. I want to go into that ocean monument, get the sponges, and uh, yeah. So we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and do that. I want to do a couple things here. I need flint and steel. Because I do. Flint and steel, right there. And I don't need this button. Button doesn't do me any good. Oops, ah! I hate when Minecraft does that. Uh, button doesn't do me any good. Okay, good. All right. And I'll put this over here just to get rid of it. So I've got a bunch of stuff. Um, not Why do I have two boats? I don't need a second boat. Yeah, I've got stuff here. A lot of it I don't actually need. Um, but, or I may not actually need. So, Ocean Monument. Entrance is right down there. I can see it. Uh, I've been hanging out here for quite a while. Uh, I slept. Where's the sun? I slept not too long ago, but I think I'm going to wait. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go over here. I'm going to sail away. And and then I'm going to sail back. We're going to sleep in the bed. And then I'm going to go into the, into the ocean monument. Hi, turtles. And we will... I'm going to try something that I think will work. Um, we will find out. So, next time you see me, we shall be probably on our way into the Ocean Monument. Alright. Oh shoot, I dropped off in the wrong place. Hi guys, please don't mind me too much. Oh shoot, ah... Uh, there we go. Oh, hello. Oh, well, this is interesting. It's a little weird. I brought slime blocks so I could do things like this. Uh, okay, front entrance, blocked off. Side room, oh, oh goodness. Side room doesn't go too much. Oh wait, how am I on air? I'm not doing so great. Let me drink a potion. I have a water breathing potion right here. Woo, okay. And let me, wait, where was I? Night vision might be a useful thing. Uh, so, I have an idea here. I need to figure out the right place to do it. Slime blocks are useful in ocean monuments because despite the, oh look, sponges. Nice. Okay. Ooh, I appear to be safe. Uh, can I put down some light? 
Oh, there we go. Okay, I've got eight minutes of water breathing. I have mining fatigue for three and a half minutes. Oh, I'll put this there. Okay. Huh. This is interesting. Can I do what I want to here? I think so. So, water bottle, get this over here. I have some prismary blocks that I brought specifically because of what I wanted to do. That, that's prismarine block, right? That's prismarine. Okay, I think I know what I, I think I can do this. So I brought a conduit. The conduit gives me certain powers. It gives me some light, and then I can put down, whoops, I can put down prismarine blocks, right? Blah, 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 plop. 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 That should give me conduit power. Right? Yep, now I have conduit power. And if I go and put additional rings here, so my my thought was, hey, I could do this using the, and then I could use the, the natural um, architecture of the, Conduit power, how do I tell what level of conduit power I have? I should have the full conduit power here because we've got prismarine blocks all the way around, except for that one there. Oh, those are spooky sounds. Conduit power, huh, okay. So the conduit power means I can breathe. <laughs> That's important. I can breathe. Uh, I can breathe. Wow. Hello. Oh, I wonder how the trident does against these guys. Whoa. Okay. I don't want to get too lost. Okay, so this is my way out. I'm going to put a... Uh, I'm going to put... Oh, hello. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh! The trident is pretty good against these guys. That's exciting. <gasps> wow! that's It's really good against these guys. Not quite a one-shot kill, but... Okay, this is all super exciting. Okay, let's figure out what am I doing here? Uh, line of sight. Two shot kills on the guardians. That's exciting. Okay, cool. So I am now inside the ocean monument. I have water breathing and I have um, night vision thanks to the conduit and because I have conduit 3 I think uh, the conduit power should extend over the entire ocean monument which is pretty exciting cool slime blocks are great because you can break them even with the mining fatigue and all I need to do is figure out a way of doing okay that's dead should have brought a lot more slime Oh, wow. Oh, that's right. Okay. I need to get somewhat oriented here. Um, so, I think, and I should be able, I mean, I should have water breathing for like freaking ever, even when my water potion runs out, which is great. I have a backup here just in case. And I have sea lantern so I can place light underwater if I need to there. That's exciting. Oh, wow. Oh, that's right, thorns. Forgot about the thorns. 
Do I not have to worry about the thorns with the trident? That would be kind of exciting. Okay. So. I'm going to talk a little bit while I work my way through the ocean monument here. And... There's a lot of them in this room. But this trident makes short work of them. That's exciting. Oh, put down some uh, slime blocks here. Oops. Line of sight. Okay. So. I talked last time about the magic castle a little bit. And I was not terribly succinct. And nor was I, I think, particularly concise. <laughs> Um, I was distracted with other things, and um, <clears throat> so the Magic Castle, as I said, was a, was a private club. Ah, oh, man, and um, it was started in the '60s by a magician, Bill Larson, and he, uh, whoa, stop it. Uh, so he, he bought this house, it's like a Victorian mansion uh, in Hollywood, back at, back at a time when there wasn't a whole lot there. Oh, hello. And uh, they sort of put this little, uh, this little mansion. Um, and renovated a bit and whatnot. It was originally a private residence, but it was a um, um, I should eat. Uh, it was a private residence, and it was put up. Um, <clears throat> so it's a, it's a neat old building and. Oh, I see the the Elder Guardian. Uh, so, and he opened it up. He's a magician, bought the bought the mansion, and opened it up as a private club for him and his friends, basically. And it's a, it's a pretty cool. Wow, that is. There's a lot of guardians in there. And he uh, did that, and then they set up a uh, private an organization, the, the Academy of Magical Arts, and it was it's a nonprofit now, and that's actually the organization that when you join the castle, you're actually joining that organization. Um, <clears throat> Whoa. Uh, so that is what I want to join. The benefit of that is you get to attend the castle. You get to go to the castle and visit um, when you want. Uh, the castle is a uh, has like four different magic showrooms, and um, <clears throat> plus some other like you know a couple bars where they have bar magicians doing magic. And so it's basically, you get to watch a bunch of magic. And they have bars pretty much every 10 feet. There's a lot of bars in the place. And it is, um, um, Okay, um, <clears throat> so it's it's pretty cool, and it's oh hello, and there's a sponge. Give me my sponge. Yeah, nice. So one elder guardian down. Me uh, and I'm like, whoa, dolphin nearby. I can tell. Um, so yeah, it's it's pretty cool. Now, in order to attend the castle, uh, you have to be a member, or you have to 
be a guest of a member. And um, I have gone in the past. Members can hand out guest passes, which is cool. Um, <clears throat> and I have gone in the past as a member, as a as a guest of a member, both in person, actually, you know, being uh, being there with the the member, and also uh, using one of their guest passes. Uh, it's super cool. The downside of going as a as on a guest pass is you have to buy dinner. Um, it's one of the rules of the house. Where'd he go? Where did he go? <clears throat> I'm going to start eating these golden apples because I have a bunch of them and... Uh, they give me some other benefits as well. Uh, so it, it can be the downside of going and, and eating dinner there is you can be, it can get expensive. Uh, and it takes time. So you have to go in and, and sort of, this is a neat room. Uh, it takes time. It, it, you have to go in and, and sort of plan your schedule for the evening around dinner you have to you have to do the dinner if you don't they will they ding you for the cost of the dinner if you if you show up and actually don't actually buy dinner oh there's another elder guardian can i get him from here this trident changes kind of everything about the ocean monuments doesn't it and i think the thorns do not apply Let's put down oh, line of sight. Let's put down some of these. And let's take out you. And one more Elder Guardian down. And I just have to find the other guy. I think I've been in the two wings. So I think now I just need to get my way upstairs. Cool. Gotta get the other sponge. There should be another sponge here, right? <clears throat> No. Didn't he drop a sponge? I thought they always did. Oh. Interesting. Okay. So anyway, um, I really enjoy going to the Magic Castle and would like to be able to go when I want and without having to purchase dinner. If I don't want to. Huh. Uh, I just stopped sitting up there. Oops. Huh. Short of sponge. Oh well. Oh no, there it is. There it is. There it is. Give me my sponge. Yay. Okay. Now we start. We make our way upstairs. Whoa, what is this? Oh, is this an underwater structure that generated inside the ocean monument? I bet it is. I bet there's a treasure down there somewhere. Oh, that's right. You can swim through here, too. Let's see if I can figure out where I am inside the, the monument. Oh, wow. Uh, back here. Okay, I don't need to be here. So, there are a couple different levels of membership available. Or not levels, but a couple different types of memberships. Um, that are offered as part of the, the castle. One is... A, uh, what they call an associate membership and that's just basically hey I like magic I want to be able to come to the castle and I don't mind paying some money but I don't I'm not like a magician um, and I would have probably would have joined at that level uh, or that that type of membership a while ago if 
Yeah, I know. There's still another guy here. Uh, <clears throat> if it weren't for the fact that associate members cannot have ac do not have access to the library, and they cannot attend like members only events, and members only events are like um, there are magic lectures, and does this go anywhere? <laughs> magic lectures and and access to the library. That's I think that's pretty much it. Ooh. Oh, those noises are creepy. Okay, I'm on one of the wings here. I need to get into the center. I don't know which wing I'm in. I need to get to the center so I can go up. <laughs> right, because the other guy is upstairs in the cupola area. <coughs> okay, been here. As evidenced by... The slime blocks. I've been here. Been here. Okay. Well, I just need to wander with the trident. This isn't too bad at all. Oh, hello. Will you stay there for me? <laughs> 